Hey, peace out, peace in it. Another little video. Um, well, this one is kind of a special request, and uh, it was a video that I'll put down a link from um, Canadian Pepper, and uh, I give an answer, and he says, "Oh, that would be interesting that you expand on the concept." So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, check it his channel too if you didn't uh, do it, and I'll put, like I said, the link of uh, the video that I, I answered. But basically, the video was. Uh, how people kind of kind of cope with uh, the silence and everything and uh, one of my answers there was kind of two points in it that I uh, kind of give uh, one was uh, talking about uh, something that I find we don't talk much about would be withdrawal and I'm not just talking about substance substance like alcohol or um, uh, drugs uh, but even um, things like caffeine electronics uh, computers and all this which was kind of attached to his <clears throat> original point because it was talking about the silence how we're not used to that anymore and uh, even for me I know like one the big thing that would be um, um, a withdrawal would be uh, to learn things. Uh, I use computer a lot to uh, read newspaper, get news, read new articles, uh, and uh, just to have this would be kind of a little bit of a shock. Um, uh, so that was uh, one thing that uh, I found was um, not talk much or not prepare much. And uh, it was actually a good thing because now in my preparation I try to be a knowledge of that and so like I was saying some of my uh, things would be um, reading so I'm kind of attaching a lot of books and stuff and uh, Urban Prepper did also a good video on them. Um, um, it was looking at uh, tablets, uh, e-readers, e sorry not tablets but e-readers and how to carry them and everything and I, thought, and I started to look into it myself because uh, you can carry like thousands of books and uh, that would be a very important thing for me uh, to read this. So that's kind of my way of patching up for the withdrawals. But other withdrawals like uh, um, uh, caffeine and uh, uh, even like uh, using a computer. I mean, a lot of people here we have established kind of almost like a friendship. And uh, just to be withdraw of this would be almost like uh, be without your family. Um, uh, by discussing in a moment that you truly need it, like, oh, I gosh, I wish I could ask this question about uh, this subject uh, to someone and stuff. And um, the other concept uh, that was uh, my second part of my question, uh, answer was pretty much what uh, this video will be mostly about. And it was about uh, rules and um, rules and principles and a little bit like the differences this this was the title of the the video and it comes kind of a concept that I read uh, a long time ago from um, the late Stephen Covey and and actually in this concept it's paradigm and principle but it's a little bit the same kind of a concept um, and the example that he give is that uh, paradigm but we'll call it rules here um, is look a little bit like a map and a principle is a little bit like a compass and so uh, if you have a map of an area where it's easy to find your way you know like if you want to go from point A to point B you look on the map where you are and you find a way of how to go to point B with uh, principles you can still do that because if you know that point B is a little bit on the north and you have a compass, well, even if you don't have uh, fully uh, calibrated, you still know uh, approximately where north is and then you can, you know, direct yourself a little bit or find your direction. So even without a map, you're the compass could be. And this is where a principle is a little bit better than a rule, as that if I have the map of New York and Chicago, uh, it's pretty hard to find a place in Chicago because point A, point B won't be on my map. But the compass would still give me the same thing. And so this is what I call, uh, uh, that's what he calls a principle, paradigm versus principle, and the rules and principle. And why am I talking about this? Um, it seems like a lot of people p uh, prepare for situations. And, uh, you know, uh, 
chaos, disaster, uh, tsunami, and everything, which is which is good. But I find it's prepared on based on rules as the society will continue functioning in X way. Therefore, I need to prepare this way, this way, this way, this way. And it's because whatever event that could happen will change the dynamic of those rules, then it becomes a... Um, it's, it seems to me being a better strategy to prepare by principle than preparing by rules. Um, an example of this is that our all most of our societies are built built on rules. That's why you know we are able to live in the cities and things in, in so much uh, closer proximity, and then we're able to live with each other because there's a rule that says do not do this, do not do that. Uh, just as something as simple as crossing the street. Uh, if my light is red, I know I don't cross, uh, and that's the rule. And why is that rule there? Is because the paradigm, the the principle behind it is I don't want to get injured. So my principle is to try to stay uh, uninjured, and for that reason is do not cross on the red light. But the red light is the rule. And so, but if that rule, so if I go to another city that doesn't have light, so when I was in India and there's no red light and stuff, the principles still apply as I do not want to get injured, therefore I need to apply something so that I make sure that when I cross the street, uh, something doesn't hit me. Um, so this is a good example, well, it's a, a, a an example, maybe not the best example, but an example of what's the difference between uh, rules versus uh, principles. And to prep by principles is that it, it makes it uh, easier, uh, I find, uh, to prepare because sometimes with the tasks that we have at hand to be prepared for everything, it's almost impossible. If not, uh, it is impossible. And... Um, like I said, a lot of plans or people that are planning, uh, their plans will, will fail. I forgot the, the quote of those uh, things, uh, General Platten or something. The first thing that uh, happens to your plans once you're uh, going to war is that your plan will fail. And this is what I feel that a lot of people will do is that they uh, overestimate their capacity because they have like all those things in place, all those rules and they respect. And um, one of the uh, best example I think of that is um, having silver and gold in, in your things. And it's always based on that they will still have a value, which this is a rule right now. I mean, that, that is things and it may be true history, it will, but whatever events that would happen would be what we call, what I would call a black swan, is that it will change the course of, of things, how it works, that uh, whatever rules that we have in place won't be in place. The principle will remain the same. People will still exchange. I always have, or you will have something that I want, and I could provide something for whatever, which is at the base of our monetary system. It's at the base of, you know, when people, I mean, that I buy bonds now or or whatever this is exactly the same in a more complex way obviously but it's exactly the same way than when the farmer used to give you two eggs for the um, for the milk uh, at the the farmers market at uh, in the corner of the, the little village and so by preparing by uh, by principles um, you can be better prepared a little bit exactly like um, MacGyver used to do is that when you approach a problem, he doesn't approach it as I need this. Now, it's not a set of rules, it's a set of principles, but principles of chemistry, principles of, of uh, physics. But when you approach this problem, you, you present that in his, in, his, um, in his way and he find a solution to adapt. Uh, to, to find. So he wants to do X and so he finds whatever it is that could make it look like uh, B and X would be will create Z and then he has his, his situation that is resolved. Um, and so um, and the reason that uh, it's also important to know that is that if we can understand like a lot of people will um, um, I find like on YouTube is like 
uh, there'll be riots and there'll be this and there'll be that and it may happen but uh, it may not happen um, so the uh, an example of for example of the riots if we bring that back let's say I take two examples of, of disaster that are kind of totally uh, opposite so let's say we would have a disaster um, like a major pandemic like the black plague that would hit and basically leaves the infrastructure intact but kill the population versus another d disaster let's say a nuclear nuclear events of whatever that would uh, or even an earthquake um, that would impact the infrastructure but leave the people intact well in those two events uh, let's say I want to on the rule of exchanging which a lot of people do videos which I don't quite understand why they're talking about what would be a good product to keep so that we can exchange with other people and fuel and everything how can you know you cannot know because in the example number one where there's less people than res uh, resource a little bit like the walking dead in a certain way I mean there's village and everything with uh, tons of things that are still in place because the people are gone so it's pretty easy to uh, so let's say the black plague happened it would be pretty easy to still have go to the superstore or something because most people would be dead like flies and so um, the, the products would be there like the, the infrastructure would still be there I would still be able to to get the things versus the second example yes there's some products that may be able to exchange and, and stuff because the infrastructure is not there anymore so therefore I need like a uh, resource to rebuild my infrastructure so then if I go into an exchange with someone else I'll probably need some lumbers or something to build a house in the um, uh, infrastructure scenario but uh, in the other scenario where it's mostly a pandemic I won't need any infrastructure probably even I will try to stay home because any exchange uh, outside could be um, dangerous and so all those rules that has been established before so all those products for example that you would have kept to bar uh, to exchange with other people and stuff well what's their point now because you don't know when to use them but the principle of exchange and knowing how to negotiate how to negotiate different things and stuff remains and so um, by learning the skills of, of uh, negotiation then you're able to um, because you can negotiate your own life in a hostage situation you can negotiate a passage because uh, uh, probably through those uh, situation a um, group of people would raise up and um, um, the population would kind of remain because that's another a lot of time people talk is that um, we're all we're always go to Mad Max and everything but I, I think there there's still gonna be some good people there's still gonna be some bad people there's still gonna be some people that don't know what to do there's some some people that are gonna be leader there's some kind of people that won't be so intelligent and so other people that will be a little bit stupid and some people that will be good that won't change not because there's a pandemic or whatever the, the people will remain and that because it's a principle there's those people over there they've been there through history they'll remain there for for the rest of, of, of um, through the future and understanding how those people will react how those principles interact between the uh, before between them how I can negotiate other people uh, for example, as a good uh, as learning about a little bit of chemistry, learning about a bit of physics, uh, then I can apply my principles to the situation and come out a little bit better. Anyway, was a little uh, video on, um, like I said, to extend my answer that I give, and uh, I'll put the links down below. Talk to you soon.